I added every monster from Garden of Ban Ban to Minecraft. First, I made Jumbo Josh. I used the Warden to make Jumbo Josh, and I gave him a big head, a creepy mouth, and then I added some green texture all around him. Jumbo Josh is massive in-game, and he actually looks really good as the Warden. Jumbo Josh also tells kids to eat fruits and vegetables to become strong like him, but honestly, I wouldn't let him near your kids. I went to the deep dark to see Jumbo Josh emerge from the ground, and then I fed him some fruit and vegetables like he says. Unfortunately, Jumbo Josh didn't want to eat the food food and instead he wanted to eat me. I would say that I killed him to try and make myself look cool, but let's be honest, we all know what happened. I'm going to give Jumbo Josh a 10 out of 10 and that has nothing to do with him holding me hostage. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Opilla Bird. I used a chicken to make Opilla Bird, and I gave her a long neck, some purple wings, and a yellow beak. I then added these creepy looking eyes to her and added her to the game. Opilla Bird actually looks pretty good as well, but the baby, not so much. At least I don't have to worry about her chasing me though, because she's a chicken. Well, she'll chase me, but she's not gonna do anything, I think. In the game, Opilla Bird is supposed to fall into the ball pit, so I decided to test if she would survive a massive fall in Minecraft. She made it to the ground without taking damage, so I guess she's still alive. This confirms it. There is a mini game where you have to feed Opilla Bird six eggs, so I added that to the game as well. Kind of. I tried to swap Jumbo Josh and Opilla Bird's textures around to make a joke, but this just happened. Opilla Bird says laughter is the best medicine, so I'm asking you to laugh at that joke. Do it for her, not for me. I decided to give Opilla Bird an 8 out of 10 because she can't harm me for my opinion. Okay, really? Next, I made Ban Ban. I made Ban Ban from a wither skeleton. I colored him fully red, gave him some eyes and a mouth, and then I added his big tongue. I then gave him his birthday hats on his head, and finally I changed his arms a little bit. Apparently, changing his arms a little bit didn't matter though, because they fully disappeared in the game. Oh wait, they're inside of him. I decided to fix his arms, and this is how Ban Ban looks in game. I decided to visit the nether to try and find Ban Ban myself. Ignore the netherrack, I don't know how this got here. When you think of it, Ban Ban is a devil, so he's supposed to be in the nether. Wait, guys, I was just kidding. I didn't say that. To make things a little more cursed, I decided to replace all the heads on the Wither with the Ban Ban heads. Now let's see who will win, the Ban Ban, Wither, or Jumbo Josh. Why is Jumbo Josh not fighting back? Okay, now he's going crazy. Alright, Jumbo Josh couldn't do anything. Ban Ban was flying. I decided to give Ban Ban a 6 out of 10. He doesn't look that great. It's time for the next mob. Next, let's make Banbalina. I used a wither skeleton for Banban, so I made Banbalina from a skeleton. I copy pasted all of Banban's body parts onto her, and then I colored her fully white. Next, I gave her some eyes and drew her mouth, and then finally I added her pink bow on her horn thing. I forgot Banbalina also had a problem with her arms, so I had to fix it again. This is how Banbalina looks in game. She kind of looks like a weird bunny. Not much is known about Banbalina other than her quote, which is kindness is free, so sprinkle it everywhere. I took the quote literally and sprinkled kindness everywhere. I then spawned a Banbalina army and made them fight Jumbo Josh. Okay, they're all just fighting each other. Yeah, Jumbo Josh wins this easily. Banbalina is cool, but look at me spawning a bunch of crows. I then made Banban -Ban fight Banbalina to see who would win. I'm sorry, Banbalina. I kind of already knew what would happen. I decided to give Banbalina a 5 out of 10. It's not because I don't like her. It's just because I don't <laughs> like her. Next, I made Stinger Flynn. The closest mob to Stinger Flynn is a squid, but I'm not dealing with those legs, so I made him from the Guardian instead. I deleted all this stuff, cut off half of his body, and then I added some wavy parts on the bottom. Next, I gave him an eye, and then I added four legs to the bottom like this. Finally, I added one bent arm on each side, and then I was done. When I spawned Stinger Flynn, he was bouncing around everywhere because he's a Guardian, so I had to put him in the water where he belongs. He ended up looking pretty good in the game, other than the fact that his arms don't move. Apparently, Stinger Stinger Flynn is very aggressive and has venomous stingers, so I decided to test that for myself. I'm not really liking this. It turns out that this was true, so I kidnapped one Stinger Flynn and called it even. Ban Ban might be a natural enemy of Stinger Flynn, so I decided to see who would win in a fight. Ban Ban has the land advantage, but Stinger Flynn is kinda fast, so he could win this one. Okay, Ban Ban got stuck, so I guess it's a tie. Stinger Flynn says having many arms allows me to help a lot more people, so I decided to add six subscribe buttons on the screen, one oh for each God. of his arms. I gave Stinger Flynn an 8 out of 10, he would have been a 10, but his arms don't move. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Captain Fiddles. I made Captain Fiddles from a strider. First, I shrunk his legs and made his body smaller. Next, I colored him fully blue and I gave him a mouth and some eyes. Then, finally, I added some arms and some hands. Captain Fiddles actually looks pretty good in game, other than the fact that his legs aren't attached. 
Also, he's a really good method of transportation. Okay, well, he's not that good. He's kind of slow, honestly. You can even spawn a baby Captain Fiddles for whatever reason. His legs are even more broken, but it's fine. It is said that Captain Fiddles is known for his love of music, so I decided to play a song for him. This was really bad. It's supposed to be the Rickroll song. Sorry. <laughs> to test if Captain Fiddles is a real captain, I decided to give him control of a boat. I'm going to give Captain Fiddles a 9 out of 10 because there isn't that much wrong with him. 